Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Advanced font formatting options are available through the use of the font dialog box. To access this dialog box, you can click the font dialog box button in the lower right corner of the font button group in the home tab of the ribbon. In this dialog box, there are two tabs, the font tab and the advanced tab. On the font tab, you have access to all of the basic text effects within Word. You can use the various drop-down selectors and check boxes to apply the formatting that you desire. You can view the changes you've made in the preview area at the bottom of the font dialog box. On the advanced tab, you have access to options that adjust the amount of spacing that occurs between characters in a font. The technical name for this is kerning. This is not to be confused with line spacing, which is an attribute of paragraph formatting, not font formatting. Once you've selected the text and formatted it to your liking in this dialog box, you can simply press the OK button to apply your changes to the selected text. One interesting and useful point to note is that once you have set the formatting options for a font, you may choose to click the Set as Default button in the lower left corner of the font dialog box. A pop-up will appear where you will choose to apply the default font for this document only, or for all documents based on the selected template. You can then make your choice and click the OK button to set a default font to use for a document or a document template. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.